called Big Data. So allow me to share my screen so we can watch. We're actually gonna watch three different videos to start this particular one. changing world internet social networks messaging apps all tools which we can't do without every time you use the internet information about your tastes and preferences is acquired and you're offered advertisements on the same social networks and on the internet companies pay billions of dollars to get your data and today they're paying them to Facebook Google Instagram WhatsApp but you're the one who generates that data and buys their products, right? Do you know WhatsApp? Are you using it? I'll tell you another thing that will upset you. You think you can post on social media or send and receive private messages in true confidence. Yet without your knowledge, that data is also being used to acquire information on your tastes, preferences and habits. How would it be if you were able to earn every time you generated the same data that you're generating today for free that makes the companies that use it richer every day? And if there was a way to earn even a small fraction of a euro for every message you send or receive or for all your online activities? If it could be you and only you who decides which of your data you want to sell and make a profit from, having a cast iron guarantee of absolute privacy for the data that you don't want to share. Now imagine being able to multiply your earnings by the millions of people online who want at last to own their own data and make a profit from the sale of it. This is the opportunity that DT Socialize offers you. A company that's been involved in the development of blockchain and big data technologies for two years. A company that respects privacy by creating tools that protect and share the gains with those who knowingly produce data. You can be a part of it immediately and in a simple way. Using our services and earning on your data. Or you can be part of the company by earning a fee generated from the data of all connected users in the community. DT Socialize has created an entire ecosystem, the DT Circle, in which every user can benefit from the generation of their data using the services within the circle. A new concept to create economy. A new concept of protection of your privacy. A new concept of profit. That's why DT Socialize is the circle into which every online user will want to enter. It's up to you to decide to make money only from your data or from the data of millions of people who will be part of it. All right. Now you have an idea what big data is about. We all generating big data. So as oil was going down in, uh, let's say, Saudi Arabia and in uh, Middle East, people were wondering, what is going to be the next oil, the oil of the 21st century? Well, many believe that our data will be the next oil. And as opposed to the oil as we know it, big data don't, will never stop. Big data will never stop. It will, they will increase as the day go by every single day. Why? Because we get more and more connected object we get more and more connected we the more you know nowadays your fridge is connected to the internet your wash machine is connected to the internet your whole your your, your oven is connect everything is connected to the uh, to the internet your camera around your house is connected to the internet so you could actually just use your smartphone to to watch what's going on so all this generate data but guess what who is benefiting from those data? You know them, but you didn't know what they were actually making with those data. The Facebook, we call them the GAFAM of this world. GAFAM stands for, GAFAM stands for Google, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, and Amazon. They make the money because they have understood the power of the big data. 
just ask yourself this. We all, we used to spend a lot of money, especially for us living out of the continent, out of back home, away from back home. We used to spend a lot of money to call, like, you know, call our families back home, call our friends in other countries. Nowadays, we do it with tools like Telegram or WhatsApp for free. Is it really free? Have you ever asked yourself it is, it, whether it's really is free? Because guess what? That WhatsApp, Facebook purchased it, Facebook bought it in 2017 for 19 billion with a B dollars. Why would they buy something that expensive and give it to us for free? Ask yourself that question. They must be making money some, somewhere else. Now, let me tell you how much money they made last year alone, not even from the advertising of, you know, people on Facebook, but just from the big data. Last year, Facebook made 80, 80 billion with a B dollars profit just by selling your data, my data. Did you give them the permission? No? Oh, let me tell you, you did. You may not know, but when we all check, I agree, we don't read anything that's in there. We've given them power to do whatever they want with our data and they can sell those data. Now, a platform like DT Socialize was born in order to give you and I the power over our data. Whether we wanna delete every data that we generate on our phones or sell those data, the decision is left to us. Is that, do you think that is fair? Is that right? I think it's right. The decision is left to us what to do with those data. And if we decide to sell, we get our share of the profit made by selling those data. Imagine just using your phone the same way you use your phone right now and yet making about $80 every single month just because you switch from Facebook that is not paying you anything or WhatsApp that is not paying you uh, anything to a new way the brand new metaverse that is coming, we're gonna talk about the metaverse in a few minutes, or you up the brand new uh, uh, social messaging app made by DT Socialize. You could just install the app on your phone. You don't even need to, 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 to create an account using your phone number or your email address. That's your, that's your data, that's your privacy. You don't need, you shouldn't be sharing it. So they came up with a plan where you don't have to share it and yet you have an account and you can communicate with people using blockchain technology. This company, I know most of you have not heard about them because they are quiet. They don't make too much noise. They don't tell around the world what they do, but they are setting the path for and basically setting the framework for the data industry in the world. They are doing amazing things. They have built a an entire ecosystem that when you own the token, you can actually benefit from the profit of every single of those companies that they own nowadays. We talk about, I would say maybe nine to 10 different companies that are part of the ecosystem. And just by owning the token, you own a share of that project, a share of the infrastructure, and you own, you deserve, you, you receive a share of the profit. Only one of those companies is going to be not even similar. It's going to be the evolution of what Facebook is today. And we know Facebook made $80 billion last year. So you way, which is the metaverse for DT Socialize, we expect it to make a lot of money. And based on the profit made by all those companies that are within the ecosystem, every single owner of just one token or more will be making money. They went to even develop a smartphone known as the blockchain phone. 
when you use that blockchain phone, you if you use it the same way you're using your phone now, you'll be making about $80 every single month. If your phone is purchased within the first 10,000 phones, it will be used as one of the node of the blockchain built by DT Socialize, giving you additional income. This project is amazing. They went ahead to become the first international bank to actually for their for very specific members to give them free trust account for life. Meaning that you know you know how difficult it is to get access to banking system in our poor countries. Those joining high, uh, uh, a DT socialized actually get free banking account for life. Of course, it depends on uh, what, what uh, level they, they join at, which also is not very expensive. So I'm not gonna go over the actual presentation. Tonight, we're gonna be talking about two things. We're gonna talk about what a metaverse is, and we're gonna talk about everything you need to do when you join DT Socialize, because there, there are a few steps that people need to go through that people don't know about. Let's start by talking about the metaverse. If you follow the news on the blockchain, on the internet, you probably heard that Facebook is changing their name. Facebook is becoming meta. Meta is actually a short for metaverse. What is metaverse? These are the kind of research you need to do on your own to know exactly what you are getting involved with. What is a metaverse? Let's find out through this video what a metaverse is. We, maybe we'll actually watch two videos to have a better understanding of what a metaverse is about. Let me share the screen. Okay. More done and sell more stuff. Well, how to let run this up? Okay. So now I will. All right. Still not the good one. It's muted. The volume is muted as well. You name to focus on the metaverse. South Korean millennials and Gen Z are also gathering in virtual alternative worlds. The term metaverse is fast becoming a buzzword in tech and business. But do you know what it means? Here's Reuters Elizabeth Halcroft. So the word metaverse is quite a broad term, uh, but generally it refers to online spaces that allow people to interact in a more immersive way than a traditional website. This could be through the use of virtual reality, so wearing a VR headset, but people also use the term metaverse to refer to virtual environments where you have an avatar, a little cartoon person representing yourself, and you can walk around and interact with other people's avatars, like in a video game. Fans of the metaverse see it as the next stage in the development of the internet. Your different monitors. CEO Mark Zuckerberg said in July that Facebook will transition from being a social media company to a metaverse company in the next five years. They've already invested heavily in developing virtual and augmented reality headsets and glasses and will reportedly create 10,000 jobs in the European Union to bring their metaverse plans to life. We shouldn't really have to have to physically be together to, to feel present or collaborate or brainstorm. And Facebook is certainly not alone. Other investors and companies are getting excited about being a part of the next big thing. The term metaverse is popular in Silicon Valley, with Microsoft also talking about converging the digital and physical worlds. Because of the global health crisis over the past 18 months, more people have been working from home and going to school remotely, spending a lot more time online and missing out on human interaction. At the moment, we connect with people who aren't physically near us by going to websites such as social media platforms or using messaging apps and video calls. But now some people think there's more demand for online spaces where people's interactions can be more multidimensional and lifelike allowing people to immerse themselves in digital content rather than simply viewing it. 
There is also a specific type of metaverse which uses blockchain technology, the same technology that's behind Bitcoin. One of such blockchain-based virtual worlds is Decentraland. In there, users can buy digital assets such as clothes and even land using cryptocurrencies. Fashion companies are noticing the trend, experimenting with making virtual clothing which people's avatars can wear in metaverse environments. While the metaverse offers a new space for people to socialize, trade, game and even attend music concerts, right now it's still no comparison to the real world. So you might have seen science fiction films that are set in fully fledged metaverses or alternate digital worlds that are almost indistinguishable from real physical life. But there's still the stuff of fiction. At the moment, the most virtual spaces I've seen look more like the inside of video games than real life. All right, that is what a metaverse is. Um, there was another one that I wanted us to quickly watch about the metaverse. So this one is like uh, eight minutes. So, and, and again, down, I mean, when we're done, you can still, you can go on, uh, you can go on the internet and, um, and, 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 and watch it for yourself. Right, you can go on the internet and watch it for yourself on YouTube, and you'll be able to find, you know, uh, lots of things about uh, about the metaverse, because it's important to know exactly what you you are investing in. Right, you don't you want to make sure you 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 investing in things that you would normally support. So this one also. Imagine you could go back to 1995 at the beginning of the internet, before it birthed the world's biggest companies. What would you have done? Something much bigger than the internet is now coming and it will end the internet as we know it. Here's a recent article from Forbes. The metaverse is coming and it's a very big deal. It explains how the 2D search-based internet is being replaced by a fully 3D immersive world that mirrors on our world. This metaverse will totally change the way we live, learn, earn, and connect. And it's just like the internet in 1995 is coming much faster than we think. This is Fortnite, which in three years has attracted a mind-boggling 350 million players. They're spending over 3 billion hours a month in this virtual world and it has already become a world way beyond the original first-person shooter game, with Party Royale joining Battle Royale this year. Marshmallow's live concert in Fortnite attracted a world record 10 million people last year, and Travis Scott more than doubled that in April with 27 million attending his virtual concert. Now imagine a world like this connected to our real world, where you can meet, shop, work, go to school, play games, be creative and be whoever, frankly, you want, while teleporting or time traveling to wherever you want. That is the metaverse. It's already the vision of Fortnite's creator, Tim Sweeney, and he knows he's not alone in this race. From the Washington Post, Silicon Valley is racing to build the next version of the internet. Fortnite might get there first. Fortnite is a game, Sweeney tweeted in December 2019, but asked that question again in 12 months. It's now one year later and Fortnite at its current level of growth is on track to hit a billion players within three years. And while that's happening, another billion person net state has now also entered the metaverse. From VentureBeat, will Facebook Horizon be the first step toward the metaverse? The excitement around a metaverse is growing and it's not just an idea from science fiction anymore. Facebook Horizon, a user-generated virtual reality world, might be one of the first steps toward creating one. While Fortnite is a 3D game on a 2D screen, Facebook Horizon is experienced in 3D virtual reality. It's now in beta testing and is likely to launch publicly within the year. Think of it like a first-person Sims, where you can create your own world, meet, socialize, share experiences, play games, and work together. As the metaverse takes over the internet, Facebook Horizon is gonna take over from the 2D Facebook that we're all using today. So when exactly will this happen? As with all new technologies, it happens when three things come together, demand, software, and hardware. So number one, demand. We've actually already reached a critical mass 
of demand. When the internet hit the mainstream in 1995, there was actually only 14 million people online at the time. There are already 2.5 billion gamers online experiencing virtual worlds every day. The global online games industry was worth $150 billion last year compared to just $41 billion for the entire movie industry. And the League of Legends World Championship was watched by 44 million people, and that compares to just 7.5 million for the NBA Finals. So our virtual cells are already ready and waiting for the metaverse. Number two, software is also already here. While the internet was based on code to build websites, the metaverse is built with engines that create 3D worlds. The two biggest, Unreal Engine and Unity Engine, are already billion dollar toolkits. Tim Sweeney, founder of Epic Games and Fortnite, is also the creator of the Unreal Engine. Unreal has been used to build not only Fortnite, but games like Final Fantasy, Microsoft's Gears of War, and many of the top Xbox and PlayStation games. And it's now being used more and more by Hollywood films to create hyper-realistic special effects scenes. On the other hand, the Unity engine is what Facebook is building Facebook Horizons with, and it's the engine that League of Legends, Pokemon Go, and many mobile AR, VR games are built on. And that includes everything from Activision's Call of Duty to Nintendo's Super Mario Run. So basically, Unreal and Unity are the metaverse equivalent of Android and iOS. From the Financial Times a few months ago, Epic and Unity rev their engines for the next era of entertainment. Last week, Epic Games, better known outside the industry as the creator of Fortnite, Battle Royale, closed a $1.8 billion round of funding, valuing the company at $17 billion. The deal includes last month's $250 million investment from Sony, which the PlayStation maker said would broaden their collaboration ahead of the PS5's release. Epic wants to use its new funding to play a lead role in developing the so-called metaverse and expansion of games into platforms for new kinds of social and entertainment experiences. If Epic achieves its vision of the metaverse, then its addressable market could grow from the entire global video gaming community to the entire global internet connected population. Its rival Unity, meanwhile, has hired bankers for a public listing expected later this year said one person briefed on the matter, a move that would capitalize on its huge growth in mobile apps and fuel expansion into a much bigger addressable market beyond video gaming. These are two leading engines out of many, and there are other worlds that will meet in the metaverse that are creating their own engines. So for example, Minecraft, which has got 480 million players, Roblox with 160 million players, and Crossfire has got over a billion players all having their own engines. The bottom line, both the demand and the software tools are in place for the metaverse. And before we get on to number three, take a moment just to imagine how this metaverse is going to end the internet. So if you're looking for the best place to invest your money right now, it's not the stock market or real estate or even crypto. As we know it. No more Google search as we have our own virtual assistants doing the searching for us. No more keyboards as we walk and talk just like in the real world. No more apps as we just travel from world to world. No more screen time as we're simply accessing the metaverse via wearable devices. And no more storing by IP address, but actually by time and place in virtual reality. Markets, entire economies, and even countries will grow up in this virtual world. And we'll use it to access and enhance our existing world. Whether you experience the Eiffel Tower in real life or in a virtual world, or in real life by the eyes of a robot while you're in the metaverse in another part of the world, that's going to be entirely up to you. And in the next decade, for better or for worse, this is all going to be reality. The internet and mobile phone will be just as much a relic tomorrow as pages and fax machines are today. How soon will this happen? That has everything to do with number three, the hardware. As you're seeing, the metaverse is emerging out of the games market, and the world's 2.5 billion gamers are accessing the virtual worlds in three main ways. 45% by mobile, 30% by games console, and 25% by PC. All three are increasing in power and speed, and as 5G rolls out, it will increase mobile speeds by up to 100 times 4G. That's fast enough to create a seamless link between our real world and the metaverse. Everyone's racing to get out faster, cheaper wearables to access the metaverse. From Facebook's Oculus, Microsoft's HoloLens, and Sony's PlayStation VR, these clunky VR goggles are now being replaced by smart glasses. Here's the latest news. Facebook is launching smart glasses in 2021 with Ray-Ban. That's next year. Apple is likely to launch Apple Glass AR glasses by 2022. And Amazon has already launched with its Alexa-powered Amazon Echo Frames, which are already being offered by invitation. And while it may be five years away before we have a fully seamless experience of our real world and the metaverse, we will already be living, learning, connecting, creating, and playing in it long before then. 
By 2024, we'll be spending more time in 3D virtual worlds than today's 2D internet. As for the internet, you'll either be watching this video on a wall of the metaverse or on the wall of a cafe through your smart glasses, or I'll be transformed into a 3D bot in your virtual world. So what do you think? Will the metaverse transform humanity for good? Will it result in a Ready Player One style universe or a dystopia like the Matrix? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you found this video eye-opening, please do give it a like and subscribe and do enjoy my video and frankly all of YouTube while it exists. Because in the future metaverse, we're gonna be connecting in entirely different ways. All right, all right, all right. Let me stop sharing here. Stop sharing this. And I'm glad to see that I haven't lost any of you going through the videos uh, because some of you might actually be wondering why is Pascal showing all these videos? The reason I'm showing the videos is because things like the metaverse and many other apps that are connected to the internet or what the internet is going to turn into are the things that are going to generate those datas that DT Socialize is aiming at selling. And the second reason why I'm showing you this is because while a platform like Facebook is planning to turn into a metaverse in the next five years, guess what? DT Socialize has been working, had been working on their metaverse for a few years already. And the beta version is set to come out in December or early next year. It's gonna be called UWay. As a matter of fact, when Mark Zuckerberg, the, uh, the, the uh, owner of Facebook, uh, said on Facebook that uh, they were going to change name and become Meta because they're lurking into the metaverse, Daniele Marinelli, the founder of DT Socialize, posted a comment under, um, under uh, Mark Zuckerberg's comment saying, just wait till December and we're gonna show you what a real metaverse is. So we all excited and waiting to, to be, you know, to join our new new way metaverse made by DT Socialize because everything that was explained in the video is exactly going to happen like that. So you and I, you Remy, we're going to be able to meet without leaving our currently residence country. We're going to meet on the metaverse. You're gonna tell me about a place in Manila, for example, that is beautiful to visit. And I'll wear maybe my headset and then I'll meet you on the metaverse and we will actually go together and visit places in Manila while sitting each in our couch comfy. We will decide that, hey, you know what? Let's go to Paris and visit the Eiffel Tower. And we will do that because that is what the metaverse is gonna be. So DT Socialize has even built stores that will be that will be accepting, you know, payments with with the DT coin, which is our own local cryptocurrency. We'll be able to buy and sell things within the metaverse, buy clothing for our avatars. Our avatars is basically our representation in the metaverse. So this is already here. Others are still working at developing it. DT Socialize has it already. Others are still looking at developing blockchain phone. DT Socialize has it already. So you can already be part of this beautiful journey, this awesome adventure. So that is what DT Socialize is about. So now I'm gonna share my screen to, uh, to do a quick presentation on you know, the steps you need to take when, uh, when you join DT Socialize. Uh, I wanted to remind everyone about these steps because when we started with DT Socialize, there were quite a few steps that people needed to know of. Now, it's not a lie if I say some people get, get turned off uh, when they see too many steps or too many little work that you need to do. Oh, there are too many steps that the procedures are there's too many, or is there no way they can simplify this? You know, people are always complaining. So I took upon myself not to present all the steps at once because I didn't want to scare people off. So we started with the registration, then we went through the, um, 
you know, buying the U card, which is like a, a balance, a credit that you buy, and then you use that credit on your account to buy token or the blockchain phone, then registration to the bank. And finally, now I would like you guys to register to the final one, which is uh, which is uh, the force market cap. So that's why I made this presentation to go over the different steps that every one of you needs to do, especially if you are a community builder. Why? Because as a community builder, you will start getting paid monthly for the team that you build. Every single month, you will get a salary just because you're building a team. And of course, the money will be uh, proportional to the size of your team. It's almost like a salary that you put the work in once by building a community and then you earn almost forever because the money will be coming from the data generated. So it starts with a registration and the U-card purchase. So to register, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you go to uh, you know dashboard.ushare.marketing. This is the link. And then uh, normally you get here by clicking the referral link that is sent to you uh, to you by the person who invited you to watch this video. And if you, you, know, you just found us online and you decided to come and watch our video, or maybe you see this video, you watch this video down the road and you wanna know more about it, well, you can leave me a nice message and I'll get back to you and we'll connect and, um, and I'll get you know, somebody to give you their link so that you can be sponsored and get on with the journey. So that's the first step, you register. The second step is to purchase the U-card. The U-card is, as I said, that balance that you, you can use and pay for using a bank wire, crypto, could be Bitcoin or USDT. I usually prefer USDT because it's a stable coin or any other payment system such as Payer to pay for your U-card. Now. Once this is done and you now um, paid for the U card, the next step is actually to register for DT Circle support. That is basically the customer service for DT Socialize. They handle any issue that arises on the platform. You need to create an account with them as well. And you, go, you gotta make sure you're always using for all these accounts, the same email address, because that is the way to link all your services together. So you create an account with DT Circle support, and then you're gonna send them, you're gonna open a ticket once you made the payment. In the ticket, you're gonna make sure you have your full name, your U-Share client ID, that's your client ID on DT Socialize, and you know the transaction ID and any other relevant information that would help them track down your payment. And then the balance will be deposited onto your account, your uShare.marketing account. Once the balance is deposited onto your account, you can then use that balance to pay for products or services. So you could pay for the blockchain phone. The blockchain phone right now is on sale for 1,190 1, euros. The end price at the end will be 2,200 euros. Why? For a few reasons. While this phone looks like a regular smartphone, the entire components in there have been changed. They have been changed and this change has ensured that the, the, um, the program obsolescence is removed. If you don't know what uh, the program obsolescence is, or the, uh, how can I, the schedule obsolescence, whatever you want to call it. You know how you have an electronic device and right after the warranty, the thing goes defective and uh, you know, you're forced to buy a new one. Yeah, that is called program obsolescence. So the, 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 the manufacturer programmed that in your electronic device so that it will go bad right at the end of the warranty and then you'll be able to buy a new one. You know, they need to sell, right? So they keep developing new products they want, they want you to buy, so they force that. So the program obsolescence has been removed, has been removed from the phone. So your phone, you can rest assured that after two years, three, four, five years, it will be operating. That same phone 
will be able to generate, if you use it the same way you're using the phone right now, it's going to be able to generate for you $80 every single month. Every single month, $80. And if you purchase your phone within the first 10,000 phones, guess what? Your phone is going to be part of the infrastructure of the blockchain that DT Socialize put together. And what does it do as part of, as one of the node? Well, it will be certifying data. Why do you need data certified? Guess what? All these billions gigabytes of data that we generate daily, they like full of garbage. The same way, for example, when oil is pulled out of earth or out of sand or whatever it comes from, it needs to be refined. It needs to be clean and it needs to be divided into various components like gas, like kerosene, like other stuff. That is exactly what the node and the blockchain called Quare is going to be doing for DT Socialize. So all those 10,000 phones and all the other servers are going to be certifying the data. When they certify the data, the data can then be easily sold to the, the companies that are looking for those data, and we would then be making money. Nowadays, that job is already being done by the so-called data broker. That's the people that Facebook and other people are selling those data to. So DT Socialize will be able to certify the data using our very own blockchain, the Quare, and, and sell them for us to make money. So if you using um, DT Socialize apps, such as Uway, you, you up, you buy up, and all those apps, and then you're using the phone, you are going to be making extra money. If your phone is amongst the 10,000 phones, you'll be making extra money because your phone is being used by the infrastructure and you'll be making extra money for that. And if you even hold some DT token, DT circle token, you will now be sharing the profit made by the entire ecosystem. Meaning that all the companies that nowadays, and we talk about almost 10 companies belong to DT Socialize, you'll be getting your share. Many people that were part of this project about two, three years ago, and that haven't been making money, uh, those who understood the project are very patient because they know it's gonna come. But those that didn't know, those that only join because they join everything that comes by them, they are wondering, oh my God, I put my money here and I still don't get it paid, uh, you know. Well, it's coming because they're calling for, uh, they, they're planning on start selling data uh, sometime maybe, you know, early next year. And once that starts, if your data are sold, you get money. If you own some tokens, you get even more money because now you're getting your share. With your token, you own a share of the infrastructure, so you'll be earning a share of the profit. Now, keep in mind, Facebook alone made $80 billion last year. So if you do the math and you can imagine how much money, once people know that they can make money out of their data, DT Socialize is going to be swamped with people trying to join because they want to finally make money out of the phone, out of their data. Instead of pay, giving everything for free to Mark Zuckerberg, who's already pretty rich. I don't know if you see the sense in this, but uh, if I can make money out of the data I generate, Bye-bye, Facebook. No question asked. I go with DT Socialize. And DT Socialize has started as a technology company to now become a financial technology company. They are setting up the framework for everybody that will be working on the, data, the big data industry in the coming years. I love them because they don't make a lot of noise. They don't. I accidentally came across them. They don't make a lot of noise. But when somebody tell you, tells you what they're actually doing and what they've done so far, you're like, 
is this for real? Are these people really existing? Yes, because they are the very first bank to have you know, been allowed to use the same IBAN number for their crypto and for their fiat currency. There's no other bank out there that is allowed to do that as we speak. The bank is called the DTS Circle Bank. The DTS Circle Bank. And uh, it is now in the testing phase. And last weekend, there was a, an official communication and some people got selected. I don't know if you did send an email to the address that I mentioned last weekend. If you did, maybe you were lucky and you got invited to try it out. I got my invite to try it out. I'm still waiting now for the next step to join and open my account. But prior to using the DTSB bank account, we will all be, we, you know, people, and this is the next step when you open a DT Socialized account, a U-Share account, you go to dtcirclecustody.com and this is where you create your bank account. So this banking service was, you know, possible with the courtesy of the Wallex Bank. If you don't know what the Wallex Bank, which is currently our partner, the Wallex Bank is the bank that has been selected in Europe in order to work on the uh, digital euro. So the uh, cryptocurrency uh, in Europe. That is the Wallex Bank. It is a London-based bank. So uh, down the road, like in, the, in a few months when the test is over, because they only selected 1,000 people, when the test is over, every person opening a DT Socialized account will open the bank account with the DTSCB, which stands for DT Socialized Data Socialized Circle Bank. You would need to complete your KYC and then your bank account will be available. Now, what makes this bank account special? I mentioned it already, crypto and fiat currencies under the same IBAN. For us Africans or Middle uh, Eastern or South American, where the banking services are so difficult to get into, DT Socialize is offering free bank account for life if you join at a certain level, which even is not very expensive. For example, if you are, let's say, in, in, in Africa, in Cameroon or in Ivory Coast, all you need to spend is 200,000. CFA franc, and then you will get you will get a bank account for life. Standard. If you want a gold account, all you need to spend in those countries is um, it is I believe not two hundred thousand. So the first one is three hundred uh, euros. The next one is six hundred euros. So four hundred thousand CFA francs, or twelve hundred, which is even less than 1 million CFA franc. And you can get the gold account to get a bank for life with the DTS Circle Bank. This is a jam. So a service like this, knowing that so many people struggle to even get a bank account and when they get them, they cannot keep them because the fees are just incredibly you know, high. You're getting it for free for life. Think about it. To me, this, this alone is a selling feature that has no other uh, alike. And then at the end, you need to register on forced market cap. You know, when you go to the bank and you open up an account, they give you all kinds of paperwork to sign. Oh, you need to sign this. Yeah, you need to sign this one too. You don't even get a chance to read. Oh, you need to sign this one as well. Well, if they want to do things online, they have to get us to register here and there because, you know, they got to make sure they also watching money laundering, right? So what is forced market cap? For those of you who are already involved with cryptocurrency, you probably heard about coin market cap. Coin market cap is a directory where all tokens and coin 
on the crypto world are registered. The difference between force market cap and coin market cap is that coin market cap is for utility tokens. Now, force market cap is for security token. What's the difference between the two, you would ask? Utility token value is only based on supply and demand. When supply goes up, guess what happened to the price? When demand goes up, well, guess what happens? That's why whenever a whale, a whale is somebody who holds a lot of a specific cryptocurrency. Whenever a whale decides to make a move, the market will suffer from it. You don't see that with security token. What is a security token? A security token is a token which value is based on the intrinsic valorization or valuation of the company or the system that it's based on. So that means a token like the DT Circle tokens value will always be linked to the valuation of DT Socialized. The value of the DT coin, which is DT Socialized crypto, will always be based on the DT Socialized valuation. And this security token, utility token thing is one of the major issue that the, the world financial system, uh, the reason why they haven't been trusting the crypto because the volatility is just too high. The volatility is just too high. So they wanted to have something like, you know, uh, an intrinsic value, which is what the DT token, the DT circle token and the DT coin are bringing to the market. So you need to create an account with force market cap at the address that I provided here. And then you will be able to, uh, to, to, to then collect your commissions every day. So this is the end of this presentation. Um, if you have questions, I'll make the presentation available in, um, in PDF format for you guys uh, in the various groups. Do you have any question? Hello, are you awake? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, no questions? I, no, I don't have questions, but we just to get started. All right. Um, mm. I, I'll need help getting started, maybe uh, privately. I don't know. It can be on the platform. Mm. Not a problem. Not a problem. Um, who invited because you to these presentations, Chris? Bio. Bio. OK, uh, so we'll so get Bio. Funny. I don't know where he is today, but we'll get him to provide you with uh, a link. And then we're going to go from there. I'm, I'll give you some, uh, some presentation, some, you know, that you just need to follow the steps and, and then you'll be able to create your account. Then we're gonna go over the, uh, the next step. And Bio, Bio knows all the steps, so he'll be able to support you, but I'll remain available if required. Okay, okay, thank oh, you. You're welcome. So anybody else has a question or comment? Yeah, I would like to get the presentation uh, so that I can read over it again and understand it better. All right, send me a message. Send me a message, uh, Muiru, so that I can send you a copy of the presentation, no worries. Thank you. You're very welcome. Anybody else, uh, any other thing that you need that I can help with? Yeah, I came in late today because of logistic. I don't mind having the lecture too. Or the one you said you're gonna put in PDF. I'll, uh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, you are, are you already in the group, uh, in the Telegram, on the Telegram group, Chris? Right, I am. Okay, so I'll be posting that presentation, today's presentation in there. But I'll also, uh, uh, you know, prepare the video for today's session uh, and post it in the groups. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question before I let you guys go? No? All right. Thank you very much for attending tonight's session. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're watching it tomorrow, I really hope uh, you, know, you find what you're looking for in them. And if you need, um, if you need, uh, uh, if you have any question, feel free to leave uh, a comment under the video and I'll gladly answer your question. So I, I'm seeing a question in here. Uh, help with information on how to start. Of course, um, uh, dear leader Paul, so who, who, who invited you just so I know so they can send you their referral link? You can write down your answer. It's important to send me a message. Okay, Meg. It's important to send me a message. All those of you asking for presentation, please send me a message on WhatsApp because uh, once I close this video, the, uh, the chat will kind of be, not disappear completely, but it will, I usually don't go and check the chat. Please send me a private message on WhatsApp and I'll make sure I, uh, I send you whatever information you need. Oh, right, what, what if you don't have your number? I think we need your number to go on WhatsApp. Okay. I thought you all had my number in the in the various mm -hmm. group, but I've just posted my number, but I see that I posted it just for call. So let me fix this. Everyone in the meeting. So I'll write it again. Okay. There it is. Everybody got my number now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, so I think we, uh, we're done for tonight. And uh, once again, thank you for, um, you know. So I wish you all uh, a very good end of the weekend. And, uh, you know, we stay in contact in the various groups and uh, see you or those of you who are gonna be available next Wednesday. Okay, bye-bye. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, bye. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you, sir, we appreciate it. All right. Bye. And thank you all for showing up. We really do appreciate you spending your time with us. Thank you too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.